What's your age? 19. 29. I like them young. How does a 10 year age gap relationship That's work? A perfect age gap for a relationship. Why? Well, see, when they're 19, you can train them. <laughs> My man said I like them young and I like to train them. That's crazy to me. I cannot be dating a 19-year-old at my ripe old age. I'm 31. There's no way I'm dating a 19-year-old. Ideally, I'd want her to be closer to my age, mm. as close as possible to my age. Uh, I know that might be re uh, weird to some people, but I would like to share a space with somebody that is mature enough to understand how to uphold a relationship. Because, you know, you go through trials and tribulations and you get an understanding of how things work. I don't want to have to train a girl. Obviously, there's things that I want to impart on her that, so that we can build a relationship. I don't want to train her like a fucking dog. She's fresh out the 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 legal sector, the illegal sector. Like, I don't want to have to train her. That's, that sounds weird. That is time-consuming. It's even worse because she just doesn't care. She's just there smirking like, yeah. Yeah, I know why she's smirking. He's probably got a lot of money. And she's like, yeah, talk that shit, you idiot. Train me. He's gonna, she's going to take all this shit and move on to the next. So you need to be trained. <laughs> you can train him, you know. They're very young, so, you know, you can influence them and train them to be the, the, the perfect woman for you. Do you feel like that's true? Yes. Do you feel like your boyfriend is misogynistic? No. Why not? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm fine with our relationship. I, it has worked for us. Um, like, guys my age are not, like, mature enough. And would guys your age be able to provide the same things that he provides for you right now? Of course not. Of course not. Why go 19 as opposed to 29 or 35? She's a young sweetheart, you know what can I say? Okay, so, so what's the latest you want to have kids? Five years um, to now, like, yes. Yeah, you know, bi biology gives women up, up to about the age of 27. So <laughs> I say we got, a, we got about eight years in it, you know, so. It's actually 35, so I've been told by doctors. 35 is kind of when you want to cut off having kids. But no, you, you can have kids later than 35, but it's no, you just can. your chances, yeah, get slimmer and slimmer. Yeah, of there being defects. Yeah. Um, so they don't recommend going beyond 35, but yeah. uh, look, what he's doing is not illegal, but to me it's weird. I won't date a 19-year-old. That is a child to me. Mm -hmm. When I have worked at festivals and 19-year-olds have come up to me, they and, and people are going to pull the example of Leonardo DiCaprio's 19-year-old girlfriend, the supermodel. Most 19-year-olds do not look like that, and they are not, uh, they're not in that like, circle, and they don't have the life experience to be girlfriends, not to somebody that is 10 years older, maybe to another 19-year-old, but that's a child to me. Plus, I don't think Leonardo DiCaprio is particularly looking for like an amazing wife who's going to be able to look after him, cook for him, clean for him, or even be successful in her own way because he's got enough money to just have somebody else do all of that that he is just purely going to enjoy the company of a woman so naturally mm. he's going to be going for somebody who's just sexy yeah. and knowing that he's an old man that can get a young girl it's going to boost his ego as well so i think that's a concept behind that but for for a guy who's not like a multi-millionaire then you sh you are more so going to be wanting to look for somebody who is going to be able to you know be a good wife yeah like i I, maybe it's just my mentality I'm looking for somebody that I'm going to be proud to introduce as my wife like as a partner mm. somebody that I can talk to the thing is that like I get you got your boys you know you've grown up with them you can always turn to talk to them but I want to be able to sit down with my girl and have proper conversations have laughs um, like be able to have conversations that I don't think a 19 year old is really going to be able to have mm. also 19 year olds have not experienced life properly so where I, I understand there's going to be some 19 year olds that just go into marriage and they're happy there and, ha and that's whatever but majority of the time she's going to be so inexperienced with, with life and I'm not just talking about sleeping with people because I don't particularly want a woman with a high body count either but I don't want someone that's so young that what her A levels were only last year that's crazy to me she ain't even gone through university yet she ain't even gone through university yet yeah it's just the most young people aren't going to really know. You can be mature, but there's still a level of a lot of things in life that you're not going to have the knowledge about. And I just think simple things like communication, um, things they want to enjoy and do is you're just going to be on different pages. Either one of you is going to be super mature and 
one of you is going to be super childish if it's going to work. Yeah, and I don't want to train a woman either. I mm. don't think, I mean, if people want to train women, they can, but I want somebody that I can communicate my thoughts to and she understands, she has the, the maturity and the experience to understand where I'm coming from. I don't want her to just nod her head at everything I say and follow all my orders, but I want to be understood. And I want her to show me a level of respect. Respect that she would understand to show as a mature woman, because I'm assuming as you've grown, you've learned to not do certain things to mm -hmm. men or behave a certain way. Younger, you might have done things that were out of line. Yeah. I don't want to have to go through that BS. I don't have to wake up and it's like training a dog. I don't want to train a dog. I don't want. I don't want to treat my my future wife as a dog. I want her to have her own faculties, have her own wits about her, and then we can go from there. Is there things that I'm going to show her? Obviously, of course. So I, I would train is not the word that I would use, but I'd probably impart some of my knowledge and wisdom on her. She'd probably do the same for me. That doesn't mean that like just because I'm I I have that mentality that I'm not the seen as like. Her, the leader in the relationship or whatever it's just that i don't want somebody that is basically a child and i, I don't know i'm saying this in a hundred different ways the point is is that this kid's just finished her a levels right she's fresh out of being illegal she's just come out of school she was literally referring to somebody as sir just the other yeah. day i'm not i'm not interested i'm not physically attracted to 19 year olds okay like i get and when i say physically sorry i'm not mentally attracted to 19 year olds and for the most part, 19-year-olds do not look like the girls that Leonardo DiCaprio rocks up with. They look like children. I've been at, I was at festivals this year. 19-year-old girls were there. They look like kids. I don't know what a grown man wants to do with a 19-year-old. Mm. If, if you're looking to just shag someone and you run into a supermodel and she turns out to be 19, okay, I'm not going to hold your feet to the fires, whatever. But you want to take her home to mom? You want to build a relationship mm. with her? This is the person you want to wake up to, a 19-year-old. Yeah, I, it, I think for me, it doesn't matter how mature somebody may seem. I think when you haven't had a certain level of life experience, you're not going to be on the same page. They have so much to learn, so much to experience, so much to go through. But the flip side of that is that maybe these guys are just not interested in the kind of relationships that we're interested in. Maybe they're interested in having something pretty that's sitting at home. They're going to go out and do their thing. They'll come home. She'll give him babies. And that'll be the dynamic. And if that's the way that you live your life, and that's what you do, more power to you. As long as nobody's being preyed upon, then, you know, it's whatever. But 19 to me just seems way, way too young. I can't imagine the look of disgust I would get from you or my mum or my friends if I said, yeah, this is my 19-year-old girlfriend. You'd all be like, what the fuck? Yeah, you do sometimes just have to look at things a little bit sideways. Yeah. No, I've I've been places where you know, I'm obviously not gonna I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna shame anyone. And it's not illegal, but I don't I don't like it. Uh where they're like, Oh yeah, she was eighteen or she was nineteen. I'm just like why the fuck are you talking to her? Mm. Why are you talking I'm not gonna say it to her because again, you can talk to eighteen year olds, it's not illegal in this country. It's not illegal anywhere, actually, I don't think. 18, year, 18 I think, is legal everywhere. So it's, it's not illegal. But when I find out, because I've been speaking to girls before they look mature. When I find out she's 18, it's just staying out of conversation. Yeah, they might seem a lot more fun and outgoing, but that's because they haven't got the same commitments. You know, a lot of them are probably still going to be living with their parents, just looking to enjoy life because they've got a lot of years to enjoy life before they have to start being a bit more serious and taking life a bit more serious. So yeah, naturally they're going to seem more fun, but that's because they've got no worries or cares in the world. They can just live freely. They don't even seem more fun to me. They just seem, they're, they're all the same because they haven't fleshed out their personalities. They're not, to me, they're not more fun. They're actually more annoying mm. to deal with the same childish antics. Because the thing is, I'm not even shitting on them. They're 19. They don't understand. They haven't yeah. experienced things. I mean, would you not want someone who's grown up in the same generation as you and you're going to have a lot more in common and a lot more to talk about? Like, imagine you said, oh, yeah, let's watch Ed, Ed and Eddie. And your girlfriend goes, what's Ed, Ed and Eddie? Oh. You'll be like, oh. Like, you know, have you seen the ones where you ask a, a kid of, like, our generation, how do you take a photo with your hands? And we'd go like that. And you ask a kid of today's generation, how would you take a photo? And they go like that. 
Yeah, that's depressing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying is uh, you've come from two different worlds essentially. Yeah. And it's they I, I don't know, the new generation for me is just a lot more different and childish and it's just not my vibe. So I don't know. Not putting anyone down, but So I I was at personal preference. I was at Comic Con this past weekend and Obviously, there's a younger crowd there as well. There's a Comic Con's got all ages, but you get youngins there because it's anime and comics and games and whatnot. And this pretty girl came over. She was 19, 19 or twenty, I think. Mm. And one of the guys that I work with was talking to her. He's older than me, so older than thirty one. And he was proper like, you know, feeling it. And I said to him, "Bro, you realize that when we started watching One Piece, this girl wasn't even alive." And he was like, uh, "For some guys, their girlfriend might not even be born yet." Yeah, that's that. That's my threshold, actually. If you were born after One Piece, uh, sorry, uh, if you yeah, if you were born and One Piece was already out, we ain't having a conversation uh, on those levels. That's my threshold. All right, well, my threshold is a little bit further than that, but still, like, if if I have to say to you, bro, we were watching One Piece before she was born. Do you understand that? That means. After 98, after 99 or one of them. No, like, come on, man. We're too old for that. Imagine me standing there and, like, you're just living your life and not knowing that the person you're going to marry in the future just isn't even born or alive in this world yet. That's, that's crazy. It's weird, isn't it? That is weird, yeah. But it's not illegal. I'm not calling people predators for doing it. It's just I find it weird. That's, that's yeah. my, you can't shame I'm me for my either. preferences. My preference is to not date girls that young. I find it weird when I I speak to somebody and they don't know who... Because obviously I'm into anime. I speak to them and they're like, who's Goku? And I'm like, what do you uh, mean who is Goku? Or it better yet, they don't even know some Pokemon. Or you know when you play certain songs mm. and people just have got no idea, they've never heard it before. Yeah, you're yeah, like, I, you've never heard this song, what do you mean? I played Wild Wild West, right? Will Smith, yeah. one of my favourite songs in the car once. And one of my friends had his one of his friends in there who she was a bit younger, and she was like, "What's this?" I was like, "Uh, what do you mean? mean, What's this? General Bloodbath McGrath? How you not seen Wild Wild West? We can't have a conversation." Yeah, like I'm from a generation where we used to watch videos, no DVDs, videos. Yeah, the VHS. Yeah, you used to have to rewind it all the way back to the beginning before you could play it. Yeah, even the old DVDs. Do you remember that old uh, piracy video that always come on? It was like this, it was really fast paced and this guy was running and he was running from the police and it was like, don't pirate, don't pirate these things. When DVDs just came out, I always remember that one. Or do you know what? I always ask people. The big people, CD players that you used to yeah, carry yeah. around to listen <laughs> to music. I always ask people, do you remember WWE's old Don't Try This At Home? Yeah. You know, the accidents yeah. are real and all that shit. Yeah. If they don't know that, we can't have a chat. Please don't try this yeah. at home. And you see Triple H being carted off on a... <laughs> Yeah, that there's there's certain things like the kids today don't know what blackberries are. They have no idea. They what was your first ever phone? I had some dog shit phone. It must have just come out from like the eighties or something. It must have been like fre- it was it was a brick. Like it was big. Had an antenna as well. Is it? Yeah, it had oh, an antenna. You're old, old. <laughs> yeah, it had an antenna. I had um the you know the Motorola flip phones, the thin ones. They were like the newest, hottest yeah. phone, and it was pink and it just. Hello, Moto. Stop calling me. Yeah. <laughs> Those phones are sick. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, like anime phones. I saw them in all the yeah. animes. I wanted them all the time. Yeah, there's certain things from the, uh, <laughs> like a wimpy bar. Kids today don't know what wimpy mm. bars are. I still go wimpy. They do the best milkshakes. There's only a few of them left now. Really? Yeah, there's very few. Oh, there's one near us. Is there? Mm-hmm. The one that I used to go to was they shut it down. Don't say yeah. that on camera, please. Oh, I'll just I'll bleep that out. Yeah. Even Vine. Vine isn't from my childhood, but there's certain people that don't know what Vine is. Yeah. So I, I had a typewriter when I was younger. Yeah, I had a typewriter. A whole typewriter. Yeah. That's it? crazy. AOL. Imagine making a spelling mistake. Yeah, you were fucked. Stop it. I'm still with AOL. <laughs> you still got AOL? Yeah. How the f- why have you still got AOL? Hmm? Why have you still got AOL? No one has AOL anymore. You still have MySpace. No, I no, just do. I still have MSN. No, but I'd love to just 
go on it again and just like do you know what i mean do you remember when you used to update your sub status be like yeah. i love blah 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 and you put two love hearts yeah you'd side. have just so much shit in your your bio and then did you ever used to do that thing where you keep logging in and out appearing offline and then online yeah. so that your messages came up all yeah, on everyone's yeah. thing this girl used to do that right she was popular in school and she'd come online go offline come online go offline now i'd message her and be like hey blah, blah, blah. she never responded to me I is like, it? You just want to be seen, you stupid. Oh host. yeah, sometimes you can appear offline, but you're still online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember That's the nudge crazy. button? They nudge you, and your screen's like, zzz, yeah, zzz, and it would freeze. You'd send them funny pop-up images. Yeah. But you know what it is? It's crazy how you're at school with these people all day, and you rush home to get straight on MSN to just talk to the same people again. Yeah, because we were a bunch of pussies. We couldn't talk to each other in person. I mean, no, I, I didn't, I didn't have a problem talking to people in person. Yeah. Apart from there was one girl that I liked and I could not speak to her in person. I just, I don't know why. I, I just couldn't bring myself to you. But even when I got to MSN, my game was so dead that I was just like, oh, do you want a webcam? Do you know what? I just saw oh, your school. Webcam. Oh yeah. my God. There were some guys in my school who were literally just mute. Like they would literally just sit there like this in class and yeah. not say anything. But then on, on MSN, they're just saying everything and everything. You're like, mm. whoa, is this really the same person? Mm. No, I remember being uh, having a lack of confidence, but feeling a bit more confident behind the keyboard. But I quickly identified, keyboard yeah, I quickly identified that that was a problem. That I shouldn't do that. Yeah, I mean, everything's easier to put in writing when you're not in front of someone. But you know, I don't even think they have chalkboards in school anymore. No, no, I didn't have chalkboards. So I was a, a whiteboard girl. We had both. I had chalkboards when I was younger, and then they switched to whiteboards. Because I remember the old school projectors where they'd get their little laminated paper and put it on, and it would yeah, be up yeah. there. And then they, they like went up to the new school where it was like a, just a machine yeah. up there, and then they had these pens here, yeah, where it was like nothing's coming out because the board's just touch screen, but they draw and it would come up. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember those. Do you remember of mice and men? Yeah. I remember that, and then spoiler, then he just. Was it Lenny? Well, Lenny was the one that had mental problems, right? Or was it the other one? I think so. One of them just went up behind the other one to put him out of his misery and just popped him at the back of the head. I was like, what the fuck? And they, 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 do you remember they used to wheel the TV into the room and everyone yeah. get excited? <laughs> oh, what a study they were watching TV. Oh, uh, the smallest TV screen as well. Yeah. Oh, there was one day they wheeled the TV and we were like, oh, yeah. The they twin just put towers. it in the corner. Oh. Yeah, the Twin Towers have been taken out. Oh. They wheeled the TV in. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to bring the mood down. <laughs> they wheeled the TV <laughs> in and we were all excited. Oh, watch your TV. Uh, not for anything good today, guys. No, we were like, what the fuck is they talking about? And twin Towers have just been basic. And we just sat in lesson watching the chaos. And I was sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? That I will never forget that day because every single time after after that when they would wheel in the TV, we'd all be sitting there like You're traumatized, mm -hmm. like <laughs> Do we cheer? <laughs> <laughs> Do we cheer? Yeah, like honestly, it was just Do you did you have the Good spiral times. staircase in your school? Um Yeah, we had a couple of them, yeah. We had a my school was a boys' school in the World War and it was mm -hmm. converted into like a normal school, but it still had the spiral staircase where the soldiers would run down. So it was year five and six. We were walking. It was fucking. If you actually go and look at it now, now when I think about it, it's crazy that they had that. A kid could have fallen over that and died very easily. Mm. It's a spiral staircase that goes all the way down. But it looks like something out of like a horror film, like a, an old lighthouse that had been abandoned. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say the name of my primary school on camera, but you know where I went. Mm. It, you can see from the outside looking into that school, it's very old. Like They yeah. haven't changed much. I think a lot of primary schools are like that. They're apparently shutting a lot of schools down oh. because of uh, like something in the schools is cracking and they need to replace it. I wouldn't be surprised, but like there was a lot of scary spots in the school. Like you know, just some places just felt haunted. Yeah, like I'd hate to be the teacher that works in that department. But just going back to it then as well with with going for younger girls, the the problem is as well these these people are not living say how we lived. So for example. When I was in school, like secondary school, primary school, girls didn't do makeup the way they do now. They didn't dress the way they did now. Like there was no putting stuff on your eyebrows. There was no fake lashes. It was all just you'd put a bit of foundation on, bit of mascara, and that was it. You'd be out the door sort of thing. And um, hairstyles, like I was one of the people that did a straight fringe with curly hair. Mm. Like, what is that? And you do all these weird poses mm. and shit did you ever do the the cornrows a little bit and then this part's all out 
Yes. And the hair clip. Yeah. I used to see girls doing that and be like, what the or fuck? Or every you girl doing? would slick their whole fringe to their forehead. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yeah. You knew th- the girls that did that, I was like, she's ready to die. They um, were always up for a fight. Yeah. But it's like, so we essentially looked not ugly, but just like kids enjoying ourselves when we yeah, were yeah. younger. Whereas girls these days will be 16 years old and they will look about 25 because they've literally done their hair, makeup, eyelashes, got their lips done from these young ages. It's just very, very different. And I don't find that people of this generation are enjoying their younger years the same way we did. Yeah, we had MSN and MySpace, but it wasn't like a social media where you try and put your best foot forward or people had loads of options. You genuinely just only had your friends on there and would just post fun stuff. Yeah, And life's just not like that anymore. And I think that for me is why I don't like the generation because it's just everything is everyone trying to look their best show off of i've got this i've got that i live this best lifestyle show to say it but a lot of men are feeding into that and enjoying it a lot more and going for these younger women who are putting these foots forward online yeah i don't don't know the rate of men that are going for it but um the age thing i like i I don't have a problem with the whole passport bros thing because i think if you don't like a particular culture going abroad to find something else is fine that's my. That's what I think personally. I know not everyone agrees with it, but the age thing is different. No matter what place you go to, they should be over a certain age, in my opinion. I don't think it's okay for a forty-year-old man to be going for a nineteen-year-old girl. I do think it's okay for a forty-year-old man to go for a twenty-nine-year-old girl because a twenty-nine-year-old girl, she's a woman. Mm. I think over the age of like twenty-five. It starts to become less of a problem, even if the age gap is big. Even if he's 50 and she's 25, I have less of a problem with it. Mm. I mean, obviously, I think as the age gap increases, the woman starts to be looked at more as the predator because the guy's getting older. He's probably got a lot of money, probably ain't got much time left. So it starts to flip. But I have less of a problem with it because as long as the guy has all his faculties and he's not like just gone in the head, it's not... It's not a big deal, but when the girl's mm. so young or the boy's so young and the girl's very old and the boy's very or the man's very old, it's a bit like you're just using them to get off, right? You like you like someone young, someone dumb, someone full of cum, and that's you just that's what you're using them for. Mm. So you know, to each their own. I know some people won't agree with that take, but that's just how I look at it. 